Before, I want to talk about the Divine Twins and what they are about, in the sense of the hero and healer. It is important to point out that the archetypes mentioned here are just one for a specific type of journey. One should always look at one's own journey and what set of archetypes are most prominent within you, trying to push you forward in the process of individuation. Just because this is my journey does not mean it is yours. It might, however, help you get a view on how such a journey looks like. Though, be careful taking on ideas without first looking inward if this actually applies to you as a person. Otherwise, you can let yourself be led astray from your own path. So, now to the Divine Twins themselves. Within my own journey, they took on the form of the hero archetype and the wounded healer archetype. There are three major models of healing, medical, shamanic and psychoanalytic. In the first, the doctor does it to you. In the second, the intermediary does it for you. And in the third, Jung's dialectic process. It is about working together to discover the curative powers in the patient's own nature. Just as every wounded patient has inner health, every healer has an inner wound. If consciously known and born, the analyst wound serves the healing process. Wounded healer is a term created by psychologist Carl Jung. The idea states that an analyst is compelled to treat patients because the analyst himself is wounded. The idea has Greek mythology origins. In Greek mythology, the centaur Chiron was a wounded healer after being poisoned with an incurable wound by one of Hercules' arrows. Jung mentioned the Chiron myth wounding by one's own arrow means, first of all, the state of introversion. For Jung, a good half of every treatment consists in the doctor examining himself. It is his own hurt that gives a measure of his power to heal. This, and nothing else, is the meaning of the Greek myth of the wounded physician. And that right there is what I was trying to tap into, to activate the powers of the inner healer so I could heal myself. Similarly, one can withdraw projections and analyze one's past and present regarding behavior and things that have occurred, to see recurring patterns in order to then learn more about why one does these behaviors and finally put an end to them and reconnect oneself back to the original source of who one is. This type of journey, however, requires a lot of courage to face the complexes within, to face one's shadow and even worse, to face those moments of intense emotions in which initial trauma occurred, to bring healing to, for instance, one's inner child, to now be there for oneself in a way that maybe people then were not. A reconnection to the inner child in its proper form is not also needed to reconnect oneself back to one's potential, one's dreams and hopes. The Divine Twins was something I came across when researching mythology, after I had learned about how Jung viewed Christ and Lucifer. The Divine Twins are youthful horsemen, either gods or demigods who serve as rescuers and healers in Proto-Indo-European mythology, represented as young men rescuing mortals from peril in battle or at sea. The divine twins rode the steeds that pulled the sun across the sky. The two brothers are generally depicted as healers and helpers. They are often differentiated. One is represented as a physically strong and aggressive warrior, while the other is seen as a healer who rather gives attention to domestic duties, agrarian pursuits or romantic adventures. In the Vedic, Greek and Baltic traditions, the Divine Twins similarly appear as the personifications of the morning and evening star. They are depicted as the lovers or the companions of a solar female deity, preferably the sun's daughter but sometimes also the dawn. In the majority of the stories where they appear, the Divine Twins rescue the dawn from a watery peril, a theme that emerged from their role as the solar steeds. During the night, the Divine Twins 
were set to return to the east in a golden boat, where they traversed a sea to bring back the rising sun each morning. In what seems to be a later edition confined to Europe, they were set to take a rest at the end of the day on the Isle of the Blessed, at land in the Western Sea, which possessed magical apple orchards. In the end, when it comes about the Divine Twins, it is about knowing when to utilize which one, when to tap into the archetype of the hero, and when to tap into the archetype of the wounded healer, and finally, about learning how to put maladaptive parts in sync with their healthy instinctual nature. In a sense, it is about transmuting that what is maladaptive and hurts the overall progression of the unfolding of the self into something that aids in this process and becomes a life-affirming outlet for these instincts.